Well, hockey fans across the country were disappointed at Team Canada's early exit from the World Juniors, with some of that disappointment turning into anger against the team. Well, now the captain has spoken out against cyberbullying. Maxime Contois tweeted out a statement which says in part, cyberbullying is a real threat. No one should go through that. Let's prevent it. If you're getting bullied or ever have been, please speak up. Now, the tweet went on to also thank Canadian fans for their support. Contois was forced to endure a wave of online anger after a Team Canada's quarterfinal defeat to Finland. He missed a penalty shot during that overtime loss, and it was revealed after the tournament that he played through a separated shoulder. Oh, my gosh. Uh, some of the venom that this poor... Let's not forget, he's... Oh, my he's, gosh, these are terrible comments. He's, he's, a, he's a young guy as well. Yeah. I mean, oh. this is a perfect example of people taking something personally that has nothing to do with them. Mm -hmm. Like, people need to calm down and realize that not everything everyone else does is about you. Also, with all due respect to Canadian hockey fans, we're not entitled to win that thing every single year. Right. You know, true. there's a reason you play the games, because there's a chance you might not win. Mm -hmm. And I think Team Canada acquitted themselves with, uh, with honour and grace. They held their he heads up high. They represented the country tremendously. And it's those Canadian fans who spewed that venom at him, they are the ones that are dishonouring Canada. Yeah. They are the ones uh, that, uh, that owe this country an apology. Yes, absolutely. And I mean, it's a dream come true for these players to play on this team, to play in this tournament. You know, it just it's too bad that all of this is tainting his experience, because you're right. I mean, they did do a great job. So, and you know, people, you win some, you lose some. Yeah. That's real. And, that's and life. look, there's the, the, the tournament will be back next year. Exactly. And, and Canada will be a favorite to win. Absolutely. And it's how you get up when you've had adversity, when, you, when you've had a failure, when you've lost. It's, it's the next thing you do mm -hmm. that's to be celebrated. And so I hope these guys just have a good coach on, uh, on their team and and have good people around them that can say, don't sweat it. You just got to get up and try again. And kudos to him for taking this negative experience and turning it into something positive. Yeah, totally. you're right. Mm -hmm.